This is an introduction to the Prototrack SLX control. When you first turn on the unit, you'll have this check system button, which after pressing, it will ask you what the maximum RPM you'd like to run your lathe at. Basically a safety feature in case you might have a chuck that will not be able to spin at the maximum RPM of the machine. Uh, and in this case, we'll just say 1800, as it was on the screen there, as the maximum RPM. Now when you come to the main menu, you'll see these options and basically the progression is from left to right. So when you're using the machine, you might most often use it as a manual machine. Therefore, the digital readout uh, would be the first thing that you will use it with. Then once you've uh, used it manually, you might enter in a program to use it as a CNC. Once you've programmed it, you could come here to edit. Again, it's in gray currently because we don't have a program in memory. And uh, next is the setup. You'll set up your home position, you'll set up your tools, etc. And then once that is all done, you can go then and run the part. Once the part is run, you can then go and save it and open up new parts if that's what you need. So let's start off by pressing the digital readout. And when you're in digital readout mode, the buttons that you have here is power feed. So if you need to move um, whatever axis, the X or the Z axis, um, say you need to move it 2.36, so we'll say X axis will move 2.36 inches. Again, it says INC here. So we're pressing the INC set button because incrementally from where you are currently, you will now move 2.36 inches. Start up the spindle. Once you're ready, press go and it will feed in. Uh, you can change the spindle RPM here, your feed rate, you can bump it up, feed and speed, F and S. So if your feed rate is too slow, you can bump it up or too fast, slow it down. Again, and the spindle speed as well, you can increase or decrease the spindle speed. If you want to work in inches per revolution, you just punch in that number and now your feed rate is inches per revolution. Do one, if you just want to do one thing, make a taper, make a radius, make a fillet, chase a thread, or otherwise known as thread repair, you can do that here. So for instance, if you want to do a taper, press that, it'll ask you uh, what angle you want to cut the taper. You punch in whatever number that is, say for instance it's 45, angle's 45. Now I just crank one hand wheel and both axes move at the same time to keep that constant 45 degree angle as I'm cutting. Once I'm done, I press return and I'm back to the do one. Again, the same thing with a radius. If I want to do a radius, whatever it might be, say three quarters of an inch. Radius is three quarters of an inch. I now crank one hand wheel and both axes move to be able to cut that three quarter inch radius right from where I am on the machine. When I'm ready, hit return and off I go. Fill it the same thing. You just punch in the uh, size of the fillet. Once you're done, hit return. Thread repair. There's a few more steps when it comes to doing the thread repair, but everything that you need to know is in this green square. So just read this. It'll tell you exactly what to do. Follow along and you can chase threads on this machine. Go to. If we need to go to a specific position, for instance on the Z axis, we want to move to 12.56 inches for instance. Now what I do is I crank the hand wheel and I continually crank the hand wheel until the machine doesn't move anymore. So once the machine hits 2.56 inches, it'll stop moving. Even though I continue cranking the hand wheel, it will stop moving. In fact, if I have to move 12.56 inches, I wouldn't crank the hand wheel. I just use the rapid. Use the rapid four-way joystick. And again, once it hits that specific number that you punched in, it won't go any farther. You can back off that number, but once it hits 12.56 inches, it will stop. So it makes your manual movements that much quicker as well. Again, just the same way as when we were starting off, we're talking about the maximum RPM. And so if we punched in 1800 before, but now we've changed the chuck, we want to have a four jaw chuck on there, for instance, and it's only rated at 800 RPM, we change that here. So that's the maximum RPM that we can change. Return home. 
Uh, we'll set the set uh, the home position and setup, which we'll look at in just a little bit. But uh, once we have the home position set, for instance, if you want to take the piece off that you've currently worked on and put the new piece in, you just press return home. And then when you're ready, hit go and it'll go. Now I'll press go, but it'll tell me it's got an error again because I haven't set that in the setup. But that's what the um, return home is for. It'll move to the home position. Spindle speed, whatever RPM you want to run it at, or surface feet per minute. Incremental set for RPM, absolute set, incremental set, absolute set, RPM and surface feet per minute. And you can program in a number of different tools. So if you're switching your tools around, it'll compensate for the different size of the tool. So if you're using tool number one, which is currently right now in uh, the memory, that's fine. If you want to say switch to tool number five, again, it'll show you up here, tool number five. And that is using the digital readout system. Back to the main menu, and next we'll go on to the program.